As corporations take a tighter control of the mass media, some journalists believe that business links could affect their reporting. I really look at it as kind of like a campaign of war. Information is basically the ultimate weapon. Now, we'll get right into this after this very, very important message. So listen very carefully. People who work in the media really need to earn the right to call themselves journalists again. Um, a lot of them have just turned themselves into part of the government propaganda machine, uh, unquestioningly using phrases like war on terrorism without questioning what they mean. I mean, U.S. surgical bombing, a strategic strike, targets of opportunity, target of opportunity, a target of opportunity, Iraqi leadership, decapitate, decapitation, decapitate, bombing on the scale that will shock and awe, shock and awe, shock and awe, shock and awe. If you have to ask, is this shock and awe? You're not seeing it. Because when it happens, it will be absolutely, positively no doubt of what you're seeing. So if you're saying, oh, that looks, could that possibly be it? No, it's not, because it will be so overwhelming, so ferocious in its scope and magnitude. It's, it's like a brief intermission in some terrible but real movie. Exactly the case. You know, there's growing dissatisfaction with mainstream media worldwide. And if the debate about lazy journalism means that we, should, we can be challenged about our perception of world events, then so be it. Well, it doesn't worry me, and it doesn't worry the Nine Network, because what we're doing is building an audience. We're building an idea for people to get over the, the old idea of being puritanical about watching television, where you only watched it in the evenings. You sat down after you'd eaten your dinner and you watched for a whole evening. This is a different concept. We have to persuade people that it's okay to get up in the morning and turn the television set on and wander around. You don't have to sit there and watch it. So it's a whole education process that's going to take a little time. And in the meantime... Possibly the strongest challenge to the media monopolies is emerging from a rapidly growing network of volunteer-run independent media centers. From human rights activists... Using digital cameras and the internet. Outlets are being created all over the world for viewpoints not often heard in the mainstream media. A unique website has been created encouraging anyone anywhere to publish their own eyewitness accounts without the involvement of an editor. have become the eyes of the world when no one else is watching. How do these amateur images affect what we watch on the evening news every night? What happens when ordinary people pick up handy cams to document what they see? Turned out those, those were the first real pictures um, broadcast of, of what was going on inside and, and we owe it to 
New technology, such as the camcorder, encourages people to record their own... You know, but politics have moved on and um, the, the, the news agenda hasn't. Mixed up with entertainment and other forms of information. Information, when you mean evidence, or... No, you did not. You know, I couldn't uh, honestly say gave us any information. And it's a very superficial reporting of the, of the major news stories of the day. This is the story of how Joey and videographers around the globe have turned video technology into political weaponry. And when you give people tools, people are smart and they figure out ways to use it that you just can't imagine. We examine the unexpected power of consumer technology. Common wisdom about videos and about video evidence is that it's the infallible witness.